for me, you know, you're your worst critic, so there's always improvement. You know, there's always a step better than what you've done. I am New Yang, and I am the co-owner of Go Sai Tai in Midtown Detroit. It's a fast casual um, dine-in spot. So Go Sai Tai, aside from all the other locations, is fast casual, like I just said. <laughs> and um, so what we did is we condensed our menu to our top selling items, and this keeps our produce and our turnaround on our on our inventory fresh and you know up to date and just you know nothing sits around so that was our concept and especially being in this area we just wanted it to serve the purpose of the you know the students the medical center um, everyone just you know getting in and out and, and getting a good meal at a decent price tell us why you decided to open one in midtown um, well, we sort of, because the three other locations are located in the metro Detroit area, so it's kind of on the outskirts of Detroit. Um, to be specific, there's Birmingham, Troy, and St. Clair Shores. Um, and because Detroit was sort of, an, and is still in a process of development, we thought, and since I went to school down here at CCS and um, Wayne State for a little bit, you know, I was semi-familiar with the area. And uh, Cedric, um, my partner, <laughs> my husband, he um, did a lot of location scouting when he was in films down here. So he got really familiar with the area and like knowing, you know, what was happening, um, you know, what buildings were vacant and just, you know, kind of educated himself on the area. So we kind of, you know, fell in love with it and just thought, wow, well, it'd be nice to, you know, be down here, um, you know, at at the campus, at a campus, you know, so Detroit's sort of like, if you're talking about a city, you know, like Lansing or Ann Arbor, Detroit would be our first home, you know what I mean, because it's close to us and we've been around it, we've grown around um, Detroit. Um, so that was one of the main reasons. We have a mural that was uh, designed and, draw and illustrated by a good friend of ours, his name is AJ. But um, he was really nice and kind to just dedicate like an hour or two and just, you know, did the mural for us. Um, so we were really happy because it turned out really good. Um, but we do want to open that up in the near future to uh, local artists, especially students, where, because it's a chalkboard, so we can just erase it and they can come in and, you know, tag their work on there. Just because I'm in the food industry, you know, it doesn't stop me from venturing off to like, you know, other things and aspects in my life that I interest me. So California Runway is a, well it was an online boutique, but the idea behind it was just, started off with um, resale also, so thrifting if you will, I love thrifting. I think it's great to reconstruct things and recycle things, you know, and that's sort of my motto in life I guess. So I did that for a little bit, but I had to, I quit my, my um, daytime job, well it's like a 24 hour job. I was um, an art director at a firm locally and um, so I quit that job and I had to pretty much close California Runway down because of the restaurant. So there are sacrifices that you make, you know, um, for the bigger picture. So, but it's definitely something I still want to get into. I think when you're passionate about something, there's no keeping time, you know what I mean? There's no, there's no limits. Um, and I can say that <laughs> in all honesty, when I was researching and trying to open up California Runway, I, my kids were even smaller, like babies, and it was even harder for me, but I would put them to sleep and I would stay up till five, six in the morning just researching. And I'd get like four or five hours of sleep and I got to this into this routine where it just didn't phase me because I was like, I just need to do this, you know what I mean? And when I put my heart and my mind into something, I just have to keep going, you know what I mean? Until I like finally like crack the code. I'm like, okay, I'm there, you know, I'm in a good spot and then I can relax. So with this, I've been fortunate because they're in school from, you know, eight to 3.30. And then I just try to cram everything in be between that time. And then once, you know, I pick them up, um, then it's chaos <laughs> until they go back to sleep. Um.